Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Pharmacist Rejoy Sukuli and I'm here to give you all the rudiments that are necessary for a healthy living. In this channel, you're going to get to know everything concerning men's health, women's health and everything pertaining to health generally. Please comment, like, share and don't forget to subscribe to my video. You know there's a popular saying that goes health is wealth. So if someone walks to your locality and they want to know about the wealthy persons there, within that auspices, I must let you know you are wealthy if you keep watching my channel. Thank you. Welcome once again. Today I'll be talking about some signs that show that your kidneys are toxic. The kidneys are very important organs in our body. They help in detoxification. Generally, removal of waste on the body and excess fluids. Now, how do you know your kidneys are toxic? One, you begin to notice edema on your legs, your hands. That's the swelling of your legs and your hands. This occurs because the excess fluids that ought to have been removed by the kidneys are not being removed. Hence, there's retention of this fluid on your legs and your hands. Now you want to take a closer look at this thing, you can decide to press your hands or your feet. You're going to notice a depression which will further come upwards, showing that there's a fluid in there. Again, you see puffiness on your eyes. Your eyes get puffy. That's also a swelling in that area. Also, there's also what we call the protein urea, showing that there are proteins in the urine. So if you walk to a laboratory to check your, your urine, they tell you, oh, you have protein in your urine. Many a time, yeah, it's, it's always a heavy growth of protein in the urine. That is the plus, plus, plus. Another sign that your kidneys are toxic is when you begin to see increased weakness. You're so tired, you, you don't know where this tiredness is coming from. When a kidney begins to dysfunction, you know, the kidney does the work of producing a hormone called erythropoietin. This erythropoietin signals the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. Apparently, when this kidney begins to dysfunction, the, erythropo the erythropoietin produced by the kidneys are reduced. Hence, lesser red blood cells are reduced. The estrogen supply to the tissues and organs will also be reduced. That is why you notice the weakness and the tiredness. And I must tell you, if you want to check your PCV, that your pap cell volume or your hemoglobin count in the laboratory, you'll find out that you have lower values. These are as a result of kidney dysfunctioning. However, for a healthy kidney, I will subscribe to you doing the following. Number one, reduction in taking of, un of, of drugs. The certain persons who take drugs unnecessarily. There is no need for taking that drug, but apparently they just want to take the drug. They are used to taking these drugs. These are not good because these kidneys tend to overwork themselves by the work of elimination or detoxification. Going forward, you'll get to know more solutions needed to avoid having toxic kidneys. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, comment, and like my videos. See you in my next video. Thank you and God bless.